first guest has written and created some of our favorite TV shows over the last 30 years. He's an Emmy award-winning writer, producer, and comedian. Please welcome Larry Wilmore. Come on out! Can I reach out this man's credits? <laughs> Listen, you're gonna be sitting there a while, okay? So sit back, let's see. Okay, you're a writer on In Living Color. Yeah. You hear that? Any In Living Color lovers in here? All right. Hold the line. Sister, fun. sister. Oh, yeah. Do we need to say anything else? And the Fresh Prince. Yeah. Okay. Created the animated show, The PJs, for Eddie Murphy. PJ. Created Bernie Mac show. Yeah. Oh, my God. Produced and wrote on The Office. Yeah. Hosted his own late night show, talk show. Yeah. Co-created Insecure with Issa Rae. Yeah. Produced Blackish, yes, take your sip, <laughs> and created Grownish. Uh, ooh. I can't take no more. I can't take no more. <laughs> what haven't you done? Uh, you know what? You are so nice, and I appreciate that. But let me just throw it back in you, because I am so excited to be here, Jennifer. I, Thank you. I have been. This is what it is. No, you're so kind to say that. But you are crushing it out there. I Thank mean, you. I've been a fan of her since American Idol. I was rooting for wow. you. Wow. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I Thank was watching. You. Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> right? I was so mad when I saw that. But you're like a movie star, you know, singer. You're a brand ambassador. You're a talk show host. You're an icon now. You oh have to God. know that. You are. You're an icon. I do not take that lightly. It's true. Coming from you. Because yeah. you've opened up the doors for so many black creators. Like, is that something that you set out yeah. to do? I really did. Um, <laughs> thanks, guys. No, I appreciate it. That's iconic, right? <laughs> well, you know, Jennifer, I came up at a time when, you know, chances for us to be in positions of what I call controlling the narrative were very thin, you know? We could get jobs on certain shows, but we didn't have opportunities in other shows. And I was inspired by Keenan Ivory Wayans, yes, you know, the way yes. that, that he did Olympic Color. Robert Townsend went out and did his stuff. Spike was doing his thing. But the doors weren't always open. So I wanted to be one of those people that opened the doors for us. And I thought, if I could get my foot in the door, my job was to keep my foot there and say, come on, y'all, come on in, come on in. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah. Tell us, what do you get recognized most for? What do people... Oh, man, that's we a great like question. Because I'm in a lot of different lanes. And yes. some people, they don't always cross over. There is an entire group of people that only know me from Mr. Brown in the office. Like, that is it. Really? That is it. They go, Mr. Brown, come on. <laughs> okay. Hey, man, what have you been doing after that? Anything else going on? I said, I'm like, I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of, some people know me from The Daily Show, uh, Senior Black Correspondent, or The Nightly Show, that type of thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow. I've also been in movies, you know, that type of thing. Uh, but a lot of people know me for, you know, what I call my real job of, you know, producing and writing and that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and even my podcast. I walked in a store and somebody said, I'm listening to you right now. Wow. Like, what is that? Wow. What is that? I have, I have a question for you because yes, people coming from many lanes in the yeah. industry, <laughs> I always get asked, like, if I had to choose, what would I pick? Mm -hmm. Is there one that you would pick? I mean, you do everything, so... No, the thing, this is what I tell people, resist that. Because that's people that don't have imaginations, uh -huh. you know. So pick, pick to be imaginative, pick to be expansive. Because here's the other thing, especially in a business that's as mercurial as showbiz, right? It's good to be able to shift and to do something else, shift your energy. Right. Many times your imagination will be your friend when you have to put it in a different lane. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're coming up with a song, you may get stuck start working on some writing for something else, okay. right? You know? Yes. And that may spur you to think of this other thing. You know, have a vision for what you want to do. I call it manifesting, or yes. I call it putting it out there, actually. That's right. I put so many things out there. I just, I'll tell you this quick story. When I first started doing stand-up comedy, um, I, this is what I call putting it out there. This is what I mean. It's not setting a goal. It's completely different, okay? It was, I was doing open mic night, and I looked up at the marquee, and I said, you know what? In two years, I'm going to have my name up there. Yes. I just said it, right? Forgot about it, never thought about it. In almost two years to the day, Jennifer, I was driving up to my own parking space. I was headlining the club, and I got out and I go, oh, they put my name in the marquee, that's good. And I go, oh, oh. <laughs> I go, no way. And it's nothing like seeing your vision manifest, right? Put it out there. Okay, see, like me, I heard you a big sports fan. Oh, yeah. 
Absolutely. Listen, so you you had a photo with like Magic Johnson <laughs> and Michael Jordan? Yes. Oh my God, look at that. Y'all see this? And then you can see the expression on my face is one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> <laughs> That was for, uh, I, did, I wrote a show called the Jim Thorpe Pro Sports Awards. That was before the ESPYs. And uh, we, were giving, we were having Magic Award to Michael Jordan in Portland. This is the only, this is one of the few pictures you could get of Magic and Michael in their Olympic uniforms. Oh my actually. goodness. So it's very rare, yeah. So, yeah. when did you first meet Magic? Well, I went, I played sports growing up and uh, I went to, uh, <laughs> oh, that's a great picture of Magic. <laughs> Um, my friend who um, I went to school with, his name is Bill Duffy, he's a big sports agent now, mm -hmm. but Billy went to my high school and he was in the same year as Magic. And he played in all the uh, games with Magic when they were in high school. And he came to us, he said, hey guys, there's this guy, he's six foot 10, he's a point guard. We're like, what? And we're like, no way. It's like he throws uh, length of the court behind the back passes. We're like, no way. He said, his name is Magic. We're like, no, who is this guy? <laughs> And so I followed Magic before anybody really knew who he was in college and all that stuff. And, and right before he became a Laker, I was at a barber shop with my dad. And um, Magic came in. This is before his first game as a Laker. You know, and he was still Irvin, you know, then. Mm. Really cool, sat down. So I went and sat next to him. I was so excited, but I just played it cool. We talked for about 45 minutes. It was so cool, Jennifer. I'll that never is. forget that, you know, before his first game as a Laker. You know, it was a chance to talk to somebody right before that he happened. He just blew up. Exactly. And, wow. Yeah, that very cool. That is awesome. And then you just have like floor seats at the Lakers no, game. No, what, no, no. What was your first time like? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look how excited I am. I've never had floor seats like right behind the, uh, I think it was behind the basket. I, I was on a podcast with Jeannie Buss and I was uh, trying, trying not to, I was trying to contain myself from asking for tickets. And uh, somehow she, I, I Jedi mind tricked her to offer me tickets. See? Yeah. Jedi mind tricked her. But I didn't know they were going to be floor seats. So when they were floor seats, we were right under the basket. It was unbelievable. I think I could barely talk to it. I'm like, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I had floor seats recently at the game where the fight broke out with Sharp and them. Oh, you yeah. see me right here? Ah, I was... thought I was going to end up on the court, though, because I wanted to do my shot. But <laughs> all I can hear is my son voice in my head like, Mommy, don't talk to the players. Just sit and watch the game, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. <laughs> That's hilarious. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.